Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. You can support this channel through the PayPal and subscribe star links below to keep me making this series of videos. If you can't support me that way, then hit the like button to spank the YouTube algorithm. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, The Book Collection Part 2. Whether you're getting camel toe in Cambodia, banging babes and burkas in Turkey, or taking Polaroids of ladyboys in Thailand, Luca Vendetti has a series of books to make you live the dream. His new three booklet series includes How to Live on $500 a Month in Cambodia, Turkey, and Vietnam, in addition to his classic How to Retire on 200 k in Southeast Asia. He also has the MGTOW book. Visit MGTOWbooks.com and use the promo code SANDMAN to get 10% off. Now available in four formats, PDF, Mobi for Kindle, EPUB, and Text-to-Speech MP3. Sponsor link is down below. Anyways, now on with the memes. Number one, men are told by women to be vulnerable. And if we aren't, then we're toxic. So we end up opening up and it gets used against us to women's advantage, as we're often blackmailed and abused. So then we end up putting up greater defenses and we learn to never bring them down again. But you'll notice that women will never be vulnerable in front of you. Dumping their emotional issues is not vulnerability. It's you being used as an emotional dumpster. She never says anything of consequence. Up next is the U.S. Army facing a TikTok mutiny as Gen Z recruits whine about the low pay, bad food, fitness tests, and sleep deprivation on base. Those things are all done in their service in case they're ever on the battlefield, and their life depends on staying awake while hungry when the enemy is waiting for your moment of weakness and vulnerability. Take a good look at this. This is what the government has at this last line of defense in case of civil war. Number three is Rolo the Rational Male saying that women break their own rules for alphas while keeping them for betas. I've experienced this on first dates when women were already wanting to hop in bed with me. This same woman will apologize to you and say things like, I don't do this ever. I swear. This is the first time while literally pulling her pantaloons down to the ground. Lady, tell me you have a high notch count without actually telling me. Moving on, we've got Annie, the Christian virgin, that's willing to change for the right person. But she says that she's a single mama now. Did she have an immaculate conception, or maybe adopt a kid? Or did she just not think about putting that part about being a single mama down, as well as being a virgin? We're now in the world of born-again virgins. They don't just have a high body count, but they're now pretending that their body counts are actually zero. Up next is a woman that turned down a guy's jacket, even though she was shivering from a guy because he wasn't cute enough. Someone got back to her and said that maybe the cute guys would have offered their jackets if they thought that she was cute too. The moral of the story is that only good-looking guys can get away with being white knights or total jerks. The rest of the guys just need to blend into the background and not talk to women because all it'll get them is false allegations these days. Number six, a solid nine-inch stinky turd fell out of this woman's poop chute while she was on stage. And now requests for her dances have gone up 300%. I'm pretty sure that the only way a nine-incher would fall out of her would be if she was actually stretched out of whack. It could be worse, though. It could have been liquid and gone into all the paying customers' drinks. She definitely doesn't need to eat any more fiber. <laughs> Number seven, a wife buys a lover doll that looks exactly like her for her husband when she's not around. I think the one in the middle is the wife and the one on the left is the doll. There's a horror movie in the making here somewhere. Most likely she bought this so she can check if he uses it when she's not around to make sure that he's with the doll and not other real life women. The wife probably also bought it on the husband's credit card. Moving on are two possible popular paths for women. Lonely fools on the right and getting married on the left. The fool's path offers her quick money, fame, cars, material possessions, and so-called independence. But if she chooses it, then no chad will ever settle down with her. And she's going to be single forever and face a horror of loneliness. Not to mention that if she does have children, the kid's schoolmates will find out about her and bully them. Number nine is an article from a woman claiming that her husband treated her like a queen and that it made her absolutely miserable. It probably just reminded her that he was the one that was the more attractive person in the relationship, as well as being the actual decent human being. Women are designed to tame the bad guys. If you're good, then they lose interest and are bored. This guy shouldn't try and make her happy because women are never happy, longer than a few minutes possibly. Up next is a dad saying that his 20-year-old son doesn't date and neither do his friends. He's wondering what the hell is going on here. There's the occasional hookup, but most of the time, they play a lot of video games. 
It's not even bad women that are making these guys stay bachelors, but instead it's the dopamine they get from video games and their phones. Someone says that this is the culmination of everything that I discussed when I was first on YouTube. Number 11, this is what happens when you're top 1% chat in class and you have a girlfriend. As soon as you have her, all the other ones want you as well. Because women are all about social proof. They can't gauge the value of a man unless people see value first. Are they NPCs with nips? Or does ChatGPT have more sentience than they do? But as soon as that guy breaks up with her, those women will be gone. Moving on, a female police officer claiming her ex-boyfriend assaulted her 14 times is fired when detectives realized that he didn't even exist. Judging by the looks of her, she's probably never had a boyfriend or been an alpha widow. She could have at least hired a couple of Nigerians just like Juicy Smollett's. What kind of idiot just makes up a man doing that for attention? She was probably hoping that some chad were seer in the papers and pity smash her or something like that. Number 13 is Pearl Davis, getting her new fake over. With the right amount of makeup and hair, she could easily have been a model with her height, if she looked like this. But guys like the Pearl Davis that looks natural. They want to be with a woman that looks like they just went on a first date with their swimming. Pearl asks who did this and it's probably some super fan that fantasizes about redheads. Up next is your daily reminder to avoid marriage. He looks the same and she's larger and apparently 1990s James Bond is a chummy chaser that likes his women larger. Notice from the pictures that they used to look in the same direction. I guess not anymore. 60 million people also saw this post on X when RX Red Pill posted it. We are making a difference, gentlemen, and our message is spreading. Apparently, she got even larger and recently lost 100 pounds and stopped wearing grandma's drapes, too. Number 15 is a guy texting back and forth with his wife, and she says that her ex contacted her and said he would buy her an iPhone if she slept with him again. The husband says, please tell me that you didn't do it. She says, no, I'm not a cheater. He says, good, I love you, baby. Meanwhile, what the hell was she doing talking to her ex in the first place? It's at least emotional cheating, and this has to be a new level of humiliation for her husband. But I think she told him this story to mess with his mind so that maybe he would buy her an iPhone so he wouldn't risk her cheating on him. Moving on is a woman claiming that her ex-boyfriend is now gay and that her ex-girlfriend is now straight. Someone then says, well, someone should hire you, lady, for the Christian conversion camps. First of all, many women experiment with each other, so it's no big deal. But maybe her ex-boyfriend used her as a beard, and she didn't even know about it. But most likely, she's the problem. Number 17 is more proof that sure, the carbon they want to reduce. Apparently, there's a study saying that humans contribute to global warming simply by breathing. Hearing something like this makes me want to just go out for a drive to waste some fuel. Canada's meat program will probably allow you to step inside a nice booth and decarbonate yourself one day soon. Up next, if you want to know what it's like to be married, then find a woman that doesn't want to sleep with you, and then just buy her a house. In all honesty, it's a lot worse than that. She takes your spirit like the Grim Reaper with ovaries. I think the original quote was by Richard Harris when he said, find a woman you loathe and give her your house. That's what it eventually turns into. Some say it's only if you marry the wrong person. That's like saying you'll only meet your end if you jump out of an airplane with the wrong parachute. But at the same time, all the parachutes look like they're packed the exact same way. Number 19 is a sad story of a 16-year-old girl that started taking the pill to stop her painful periods. Then she met her maker after getting a blood clot just days from Christmas. It's horrible. And remember guys, the climate change did this. She's not breathing anymore, so it also helps stop climate change. She was pretty. Rest in peace. Moving on, we have the difference between a man and a woman working a fast food job. One is a loser while the other is a strong, empowered woman serving samosas. Men, after all, are human doings and women, after all, are human beings. We have to accomplish so much more just to live up to women's standards. If we don't, then it's off to the involuntary celibacy pile for us. Number 21, we have an article claiming that gentlemen prefer bold women that take the lead in dating. This opens up the possibility for women in the dating scene to make the first move. A recent survey says that 84% of men welcome women initiating dates. In fact, women have always technically initiated conversations or hovered around in your proximity if they were interested in you. I rarely initiated, and it was my girlfriends that kissed me first or approached me first. Nothing new here. Up next is female cafe boss tricked women that she met on Plenty of Fish into sleeping with her by pretending to be a man. 
How did she do that when she looks like an incel? She pretended for the duration of a two-year-long relationship. And how is she worthy of being put in jail for 10 years? I think that this is the first time in history that a woman received a harsher sentence for something than a man might. I wonder if the court recorded that the crime was committed by a man. Number 23, what a pathetic display. A man getting down on one knee asking a woman, will you destroy my life by being my wife? He's laughing now, but he won't be laughing after the court system completely wrecks him and bankrupts him. Funny enough, this is J-Lo and A-Rod, and he was the one that left her in the end. Now she's back with Aflac for some reason. Moving on, someone says that a lover bot could be hacked in the future and reprogrammed to end you. But how is that any different from a real girlfriend? They just reprogram you slowly through nagging and you end yourself instead of enduring the pain of listening to them anymore. But at the very least, the robot will give you sex first. I'm guessing it was the guy's ex that hacked it. More like her new beta male with that IT job. That guy will probably go to jail for the crime instead of her. Number 25 in the last one is a TikToker saying she wants to sue her parents for having her without her permission. She says, I did not consent to being here. But how is that her fault? At the time of conception, she didn't exist to give or revoke consent. I think that this is all a master plan that if Gen Z is being denied affordable housing, maybe this is a plan to just sue their parents and take their houses from them. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so that new viewers can find it. If you enjoyed this series of videos and want me to keep making more, then donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below, and that's about it. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.